good morning from west of Phoenix. You saw yesterday's video, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we got Claire Bear over here ready to go. I'm ready to go. We both had ourselves a very nice night's sleep. And uh, we're headed out to Schooly Palooza, which is kind of an offshoot of the RTR. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's kind of like this meetup of people who choose to live in vehicles. <clears throat> And there, it's like informational, but it's also a gathering. There's going to be a bunch of uh, YouTube, you know, guys out there, travelers, uh, just really interesting people. So I'll probably do some interviews and things like that in the coming weeks. Let's hit the road. So we are out in Quartzsite. Now what you have to do when you arrive is... Take a picture. That's right. You got, your, you got to get yourself a little permit for a 14 day uh, permit. And uh, these are all the rules. And uh, you come over to a campground host who is on duty. We made it. We're at the school, uh, Schooly Palooza. Check it out. Look at all these big old buses. Big one, big one, big one. Small one over there. Medium big and we uh, we met Steve over here. Steve also has a channel. Do you want to say what your channel yeah, is? Steampunk Steve. Cool. Steampunk Steve. Yep. We also have a giant red and white bus over there. A medium size uh, one over there with a really cool paint job. We're gonna have to go see that later. A short little bus over here with free crystals and we got a few people who came out to uh, tour some school buses, get some ideas, chat with us and see what it's like to live in a school bus and travel around. We're gonna go check out Steve's rig. Le Stufen bus. Le, stuf le Stufen bus. <laughs> le Stufen bus. So we're gonna get one of his uh, famous free tours. Uh, I might pay him the fifty cents. We'll see. Oh no, no! So you have a schooly palooza ticket? Oh, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and first thing I notice is a kitty cat. Who's this? This is Cami. Hey. Hi there. Short for Cami Flage. <laughs> oh yeah, she sure is. Hi. And she's also like said, watch your fingers. <laughs> yeah. She'll, and she, she'll get at him, huh? Um, when I first got here, um, and somebody with a couple of big dogs came over, and she was throwing herself against the glass to go after the dogs. Oh. She was actually opening the door, so that's why I keep it latched. <laughs> I just Hi, kitty. Keep her from getting out. Whoa, yeah, she looks a little... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I warn people, but mm -hmm. nobody ever listens. I've met girls like those before. Cool! So we got uh, some kind of bending plywood yeah, this, on the this Luan. Uh -huh. this regular Luan with a mahogany side out. How does how does this stuff work? Do you like it? The spray foam, yeah, yeah. I liked it. Um, yeah. I should have waited till it was warmer. Okay. <laughs> so it would have expanded more. Ah. But I was in a rush. I gotcha. You know. I gotcha. Very cool. So uh, kitchen, living oh, area, kind of. All of my tools are under here. Awesome. Like I said, a lot of tools. Yeah. The heat that'll drive me right out of here. <laughs> but I worked at a hotel that was going through a remodeling, so I got a free breakfast table. Heck yeah. And a free uh, countertop. Nice. Bacon bread for the potluck today. Oh, nice. Are you letting it rise right now? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Should be. Oh, yeah, that's doing all right. But um, all of my solar controls are under here. Very cool. Very cool. And I, I'm doing everything um, 12 volt, mm -hmm. so I've got USB ports and plugs all over the place. That's very convenient. Yeah. And this is my controller, so I'm bringing in about 5 amps. Well, my mm -hmm. batteries are at 97%, so... Mm. Very cool. And because Steampunk Steve, I've got to do things a little steampunky, so... Like oh, wow! I love it. Which my three-year-old grandson loves because he can sit here and yeah. be mad scientist with the lights. 
Very cool. And what kind of, uh, what are those called? Hmm? What, what kind of switches are these called? They're just knife switches. Oh, interesting. That's so cool. And what does this one do? Uh, this one is for this. It's actually hooked up. Um, I need to get a different one. I need something that's only 10 amps mm -hmm. because I can check the whether both panels are working. So this is one panel. This is the other Oh, panel. cool. Cool. And, uh, nice. So. I like it. Very cool, Steve. And then, uh, obviously kitchen area. Kitchen. Little, uh, Total plants right on now. the other side. Yeah, yeah. this is, uh, my herb garden. Mm. Um, two different kinds of oregano. Um, I spent two weeks with my mom. While my sister was on a cruise, mom's getting up there, and um, I came out and I'd water the cat every day, but I kept forgetting to water. <laughs> All I had to do was turn that around, and I could have watered it. But, oh, smart. Yeah. So, well, um, I'll find a garden store. I'll buy Italian oregano. I'll just get new oregano and put it in. Yeah. <laughs> but I did. Um, I cut off 18 inches and moved it over here, so I had to counter on both sides of the stove, which is nice. Yeah, definitely. And uh, garbage. Yep. My pantry. Cool. Nice. nice spice rack. And I got, uh, I probably use three of those spices regularly. <laughs> yeah, but, me know, too. And then canned goods and rice. And it's heavy. it's very handy how you have it sliding out like that. Because yeah, I, I didn't want to reach try to reach back here and find that one cup or one can of soup. Yeah. This way I can pull it out. And yeah, well, you can maximize the whole space. And, right. Yeah, right. exactly. That's awesome. And this is my refrigerator. This is, there's only me, so I only need this little refrigerator. Yeah, little 12 volt refrigerator. Yep. Mm -hmm. And again, camera stuff and, yep. you know, USB ports so I can keep things charging. Yeah, very cool. Closet of clothes I never wear. <laughs> yeah. The stuff in the back. I've been on the road 13 months and I haven't worn anything back there. So I probably should donate it. Something. Yep. I hear you. The bed area. Um, this would have been my wife's. She passed away. But um, sorry to hear so that. So now it's storage. Yeah. But I did do this. These little LED map lights. Nice. It's See. just nice for reading. Yep. It doesn't shine outside, so I can be laying here reading, look out the window, and nobody can tell I'm in here. Very cool. And 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 Steve did modify the uh, the windows back here uh, from the original school bus ones. So yep, yeah. Which just enough cross breeze on those hot days that it's yep. nice. Mm -hmm. And you have two uh, ceiling fans, huh? You have the yeah, one I in the... the one in the front, one back here. I yep. sort of wish I left the hatch. Okay. Um, up front because that would have been nice to open up on a real hot day and yeah because the fans only pull so much but an opening that big would have yeah oh well would have could have should have is uh, how long is the bus uh 33 feet okay and i've got under the floor here i've got a um 42 gallon fresh water tank and a 42 gallon gray water tank mm -hmm. so and my um i got the wheelchair lift over here okay that, do you uh, still use that, or you um, it's got a leak somewhere? Mm -hmm. and, but I, my wife was in a wheelchair, so I really needed this to be able to get it in and out. So I made this bus accessible, so she'd be able to move around. Uh -huh. um, but I, I probably at some point will get it fixed, get it working, and I can drop it out there, have a little deck, mm -hmm. you know, cook out there or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, that made this is the shower pan. This mm -hmm. whole area. Very cool. So, and so you also made it for her to, to be yeah, in it. Big yeah. enough that she could get in here, I could help her out, whatever. Yeah, cool. Um, and so that just drains through the floor. Well, there's a um, a galvanized pan underneath, and it drains down into the gray water tank. Okay, cool. And um, cat pan. Yep. Composting toilet. Um, again, with all the, the uh, peat moss in it. Okay. But the fan that you can hear sucks air in through the cat litter. And across here and up. So I've never even smelled the cat litter. Much yeah, I, I don't smell, smell anything back here. No. That's great. The only time I've had problems is when I have this window open and this fan going, sometimes the smells go up and get sucked back in. It circulates a little bit, yeah. But close the curtain and it basically <laughs> just recycles right through here. And it's fine. But Very cool. I've got a 10-foot um, black plastic pipe up on the roof that it's in a C-shape that I can pressurize here and then... You know, for the my shower, between that and a uh, little spray nozzle for nooks and crannies. Very cool. So it's yeah. a solar shower on top. Yep. I nice. Wish. Later this afternoon, usually like three o'clock in the afternoon, that's as warm as it's going to get. If it's eighty degrees, I got a nice warm shower. 
if it's below 80 degrees, I get a nice invigorating shower. <laughs> yeah, been there before. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it makes me more efficient. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to get this wet, soap up, and get it off as fast as I possibly yep, can. Yep, exactly. So I do have uh, my water of the charnel. Oh, nice. That's creative. <laughs> i got to have something that's a little bit bizarre. Yep. Well, as the case, once you are around a bunch of uh, school buses, everybody, it's like show and tell here. It is the coolest thing. <laughs> Although I feel a little bit, uh, I don't know. I feel like next time around, I definitely want to do more of the interior stuff myself or working with someone, not having someone do my stuff alone. We haven't even seen any of the rest of these buses. So I will kind of prob, I'll definitely do full videos on Bus Life Adventures channels. But I think I'm gonna space out the uh, the tours and things like that because um, there's just so many here. <laughs> this is gonna it would be like an hour long video. All right, it is now sunset. We have a nice little pot look. My pot is still looking in there <laughs> on the uh, on the stove. More school buses are showing up. Just had that big old gray one pull up, and uh, it is just a very nice, very very nice evening out here in the Arizona desert. Thank you.